background, please. But, well, perhaps we invite uh, both Peter and Anne Marie here as well, try to fit in on the stage. Um, and now you're open to ask any questions in regards to what uh, has been discussed today. So, uh, as you saw, the different topics of the certs, how they cooperate at EU level, member states level, how it actually works in Sweden with the, the IT incident reporting as well as, of course, Peter's presentation on the fu uh, future uh, of the threat landscape. I have one question to And you can ask in any language you'd like to as well. Sorry, please. I have one question to Anne-Marie. You had Holland on the slide. Yes. I couldn't quite understand mm. what you were talking about. Yeah, well, you can Was it good? Yes, <laughs> very, very good. I was uh, telling a bit about uh, how the work in, in the Netherlands and Holland were actually uh, included in, in the report and, and that one found some inspiration from that, for the Swedish report. What were your comments uh, to Peter's presentation coming from different backgrounds? Start? Yes, please. Well, I mean, okay, thank you. I think it was a very um, entertaining uh, 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 presentation, but it also has a very serious underpinning, of course. I mean, these zombies aren't really as mindless as we would like to uh, uh, envision them in, in media. I mean, there's always somebody controlling these zombies. So, could you reflect a little bit on that? How do you see that we combat not only the zombies themselves, but the, the underlying Dr. Evil or what have you? Right now, worldwide, there are several initiatives to conquer uh, or, or attack botnets, because that's basically what you're talking about. A botnet is just a collection of computers that are infected and operated by a botnet herder. Uh, there's one European uh, initiative, for example, ACDC, that puts um, law enforcement, industry, and government together to try to tackle the botnets. And I think one of the important things to do with botnets are, are immediate action is to stop them, which I think is a good idea. If you can stop as many botnets as you can, you take away the incentives, and if the incentives are gone, less people will go into this, this type of crime. But we do need to catch a few of the botnet herders. In Holland, we've had a few successes uh, over the last few years. Uh, Microsoft and the FBI have been, have been working together. Um, catching them every once in a while is very, very good for PR, basically, because it makes the other botnet herders aware that they're not invulnerable, that on the internet you can, cannot do anything you want. Eventually, you will be found out, whoever you are. So th I think that's, that's, that's the future. A cooperation, it's pro I didn't hear what you were talking about, but it's ex uh, probably exactly in your, in your line. None of the parties can do this alone, but together we can, we can make that fist. Anne-Marie, did you have any comment or reflections on uh, Peter's intervention? I, I just oops, found Ooh. it very interesting. Wow, this is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the true Anne Marie's on stage. The true Anne Marie's on stage. Oh, I thought you were mentioning me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just have to to um, we have to wrap up actually. And uh, from .s's behalf, I would like to thank you 